Okay, welcome to our video for today. Uh, today we will be talking about how to do a complete full computer cleaning and maintenance. This will help optimize and potentially speed up your computer as well as this will include how to remove any possible malware, viruses, spyware, or any other threats off the computer. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, we'll start by logging in. Now one of the first clues or indicators that your computer needs a cleaning or maintenance done is if it takes a long time to load up when you first turn it on. Also if you have windows popping up on the screen uh, or any sort of pop-ups that usually is a good indicator that some maintenance and cleaning needs to be done on your computer. The next uh, indicator that we need to do a cleaning or that we have uh, some malware or other programs that need to be cleaned out as well as garbage is whether the web browsers take a long time to pop up and load websites. And another great indicator that's visible is all these toolbars. Um, most toolbars, whether they are from Google, Bing, AVG, or another source, are bad. Um, there's no reason to ever have a toolbar on your web browser. All it does is slow it down and can also cause additional problems. Okay, to get started, we're going to need a few tools to help us uh, take care of the computer. And so we're going to do this in steps. Uh, step one, we're going to get a tool called Malware Bytes. Uh, the link is down below in step one. Uh, you'll just click on that link and it will take you directly to where you need to go to download the program. And I'm going to go ahead and do it here on the screen as well. Now once you've downloaded the Malwarebytes installer and double click on it or run it, uh, this menu will pop up. You'll just click OK. And then you'll continue step by step. Now just this is a good point to bring up every time you install a program make sure you read everything. Um, often there are programs hidden within uh, installers. We call them piggyback programs which will try to install themselves on the computer without you knowing. So always make sure that you're reading everything when installing a program. We're going to uncheck the top box, leave the bottom one checked, and hit finish. When the dashboard menu comes up, first thing you'll want to do is select settings and come over here to detection and protection. Just make sure that all three of these boxes have a check mark in them. If they do not, add a check by clicking on the box. And then make both make sure both of these menus say treat detections as malware for both of these. Once that's finished, you'll come back to the dashboard. Now it should have updated automatically, but just to be sure, click update now. And then as soon as it's finished updating, we'll come up here and click on scan. We'll use the recommended scan, which is threat scan here on the left. We have it selected. So we'll go ahead and hit start scan. And we're going to let this run in the background while we continue on to the next steps of the cleaning. All right, so for step two, we'll need our second uh, tool. And so again, just down below, go to step two. There's a link there you can click on that link it will take you directly to where the download is located. I'm going to go ahead and do it here on my screen. Once you have the installer up on your screen, again, you'll want to make sure you read everything and then go ahead and go th next through the menus here.
When this option appears on your screen, make sure you click Decline. Now when the Super Anti-Spyware menu is up on your screen, as seen here, you'll first want to just verify make sure that it updated. You can see here it's listed as completed. We'll click OK. Again, that option is down here where it says click here to check for updates. Once you verify that it's been updated, we'll come up here and click on scan this computer. We're going to do a complete scan. First thing it's going to do is check to see if there's any uh, harmful or unwanted programs on the computer. You can see it found two. And so you can use Super Anti Spyware to uninstall these programs. However, we're going to do this later in the cleaning. And so for now, we're going to go ahead and skip these steps and let the scan run. Now, again, just like Malwarebytes, we're going to allow this scan to run in the background while we continue the cleaning. All right, if you look down below step three, uh, we have our third and final tool that we'll need. Again, click on the link and you'll be able to download it from the link listed down below. I'm going to go ahead and do it here on the screen. Again, once the installing menu comes up, just make sure you read everything and click next through the menu options here. And now here on our screen, we have our third and final uh, cleaning tool that we're going to use. Once this screen is up, you'll want to make sure you have all your web browsers closed. So I'm going to go ahead and close Chrome. And then uh, we're ready to get started here. First thing that you'll want to do with CCleaner is just double check the options here in this left hand menu. Make sure you do not have a check mark anything below autocomplete form history. Both of these need to be blank. Make sure there is no check mark in network passwords and make sure there's no check mark below where it says Windows error report reporting. So it should look exactly the way you're seeing here on my screen. Uh, under applications you may have some different applications coming up depending what's still installed on your computer. However uh, these default checks should be uh, perfectly fine. The only thing you will want to verify is just make sure if you have Firefox or any other web browsers that your preferences, passwords, and so forth are not checked. And so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and run the cleaner. When this pops up, we'll click OK. And then it will show the progress up here at the top. Right now it's at 0%. As soon as it's finished, it will say 100% and give us the results. OK, we can see that uh, CCleaner has finished. Um, it's at 100% up here on the top right hand side list the results right here as well as it gives a detailed report down below and so it's gone through and cleaned out the garbage data off the computer for us we're now going to go to the registry option here on the left make sure every single one of these boxes is checked and click scan for issues and then again just wait till it says hundred percent here on the right top right hand side uh, I'll let you know that it's finished as soon as it shows completed uh, just make sure every single one of these are checked easy way to do that is just checking this top box. We'll come down here and click Fix Selected Issues. Yes, we do want to back these up. Uh, go ahead and just save it in a file where you'll be able to locate if needed. Uh, I'm going to hit Save. There were 14 issues found. I'm going to click Fix All Selected Issues and Close and then Scan again. You'll want to continue scanning uh, for registry issues until it comes up with zero results. Here on the second scan we can see that it did find one more result so I'm going to go ahead and repeat the process here. And then scan again. Alright, here on the third scan you can see it says no issues were found. That's what we want so we can go ahead and proceed to the next step. 
The next step here on our cleaning with CCleaner is when we click on tools here on the left hand side, it's going to take us to an uninstall option here at the top. Here in the middle, it's going to list all the uh, programs that are on your computer. Now, this is where we want to go through and uninstall every program that is garbage, malware related, or causing problems on the computer. Now, many of you out there are not going to recognize every program here that's listed. And so I'm going to give you a tool. And this is also listed down below. There is a website you can go to to research quickly and easily any program as to whether or not it needs to be re removed off your computer. And so I'm going to bring up that website right now. The web address or URL is www.shouldiremoveit.com. Once the site is loaded up on your screen, you'll notice over here on the top right hand side it has a search option. And so, for example, if we wanted to know if the, let's find a good example here. my PC should be removed. We're going to type in clean my PC. Now this is the program right here. We can verify that by the publisher. Oh. So the publisher is listed right here on the second column. And we can see that that matches what's listed here as well. Now anything that has a red, yellow, or orange rating needs to be removed off the computer. Only if it's green should it stay. And so right now I'm going to go through and remove all the garbage junk off the computer. One thing to look out for, anything that has the word toolbar in it or bar needs to be removed off the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and get started right now. Okay, I've gone through the list and removed everything that needs to be cleared off of this computer. You'll notice in a couple cases with the AVG toolbar and Yahoo toolbar, they are still listed. Those will disappear um, after the computer is rebooted, restarted, and then they should be gone. One thing that you will want to do just to verify everything is showing up correctly on CCleaner is we'll want to check in the control panel. So if we click on start, type in control panel, first option, I'm going to click on it. We're going to go to uninstall a program. And we'll just make sure we don't see anything here that wasn't listed in CCleaner and everything looks, looks good. So we can go ahead and close that and go on to the next step. The next step, we'll want to click here on startup. This lists all the programs uh, that are set to turn on or start up when we first turn the computer on. And so what we want to do is turn everything off with the exception of any antivirus or online backing, backup software. We want to leave those on, but everything else can be turned off. And so I'm just going to go ahead and select everything here, hit disable. So now they're all listed as a no. And then to make sure we didn't miss anything, we're going to come here to search, type in MS config. We're going to right click, run as administrator, come over here to startup, open task manager. And you can see everything is the same, everything's disabled, which is what we want. So that way, not all these programs are going to be running when we first turn the computer on, which will help the computer boot up uh, quicker as well as perform and be more uh, optimized in performance. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the web browsers that we need to go through and clean out. Um, like we looked at earlier, all the uh, web browsers um, did have some toolbars or extensions or add-ons that needed to be removed or cleaned out. Some of those are going to be gone now that we've gone through and cleaned out the toolbars. We're going to start here with Internet Explorer. Uh, 
We'll go ahead and disable everything that does not need to be running. And then we're going to go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. We're going to go to Internet Options. Excuse me, we're going to go to Manage Add-ons. And we're just going to make sure there's nothing here that doesn't already need to be turned off that isn't. You can see it looks good. Under here is search providers. We want to make sure that we only have Yahoo, Google, and Bing listed in here. Anything else needs to be removed. Currently it has a malware search engine set as default, so we're going to set Google as the default by selecting it and then clicking set as default. Then we can click on ask search, click remove. Inbox search, remove. And we also want to get rid of ABG. We're going to remove that as well. If you want to add a search option, for example, if Google, Bing, or Yahoo are not already listed in there, you just come up here and click on the address bar, the little down arrow, select add. Again, you only want to have Bing, Yahoo, or Google. Right here is Bing, Yahoo, and then there's Google. Um, again, any others need to be removed out of there. Now you'll notice that currently, because we have malware on the computer, uh, it changed our home page. So we can change the home page back to whatever we want by going to Internet Options. And I'm going to change it to Google. Hit Apply, OK. And if I hit the Home button, it's now Google. Internet Explorer has a lot of problems that sometimes cannot be resolved simply by cleaning it out. Uh, if you continue to have problems with the Internet Explorer, first recommendation is to stop using it and use Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, which are both much better web browsers. But if you prefer Internet Explorer and want to fix the problem, uh, the quickest, easiest way to do so is come to Internet Options, Advance, Reset. What this will do is delete everything and reset everything back to the, the way it was uh, when you first got the computer. We'll go ahead and click Reset. Notice you need to restart your computer for this to take effect, which we will uh, do as soon as we're finished with the cleaning. Next we're going to go to Mozilla Firefox. Again, we want to disable everything and anything that does not need to be running. Uh, in the background. And as soon as we've done that, we're also going to open Firefox. We're going to go to add ons. Now We'll remove anything here that doesn't need to be here and make sure anything that doesn't have a remove option is disabled. And we'll go to plugins. Again, make sure everything's disabled to never activate if it doesn't need to be running. Anything else can be set to ask to activate. Next, we're going to take care of the default search engine. We're going to click change. Now, currently it's set to ABG, again, we don't want anything other than Yahoo, Google, and Bing. So we're going to switch it to Google. Final thing, we need to change our home page back. So we're going to go to General. Change it to Google. Now Google set as our homepage for Mozilla Firefox. Now back here at CCleaner, we are not going to use CCleaner to take care of Google Chrome. So we're going to go ahead and close this. And we're just going to pull CCleaner up, or excuse me, Google Chrome. And then we're going to pull up the menu, go to settings extensions, 
And again, we're going to remove anything and everything we do not need. And all the garbage and malware extensions and add-ons that have been added here, we're going to get rid of. We're going to go back to settings. And we're going to make sure that this is set to what we want to. It's set on Google, so that's exactly what we want. We're going to have it show the home button. And I'm going to change the home page to Google. And OK. And then again, just make sure that your search engine is set to uh, Google as well. The last thing for our web browsers is we just want to make sure that we have the correct one set to default. And so we're going to go to search, type in default programs. Select set your default program. Now again, we have three options uh, for default web browser. We have Firefox, Chrome, and Internet Explorer, again, we recommend using Chrome or Firefox. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and set mine to Chrome by clicking on this option here. And now Google Chrome is the default program. Now, if you're using Windows XP or Windows Vista, you do need to worry about fragmentation. Um, and so you will most likely need to run a defrag on the computer. However, if you're using Windows 7 or Windows 8, uh, it's not as much of an issue. However, we do want to just double check, make sure the settings are correct. And so we're going to come down here and pull up Windows Explorer, locate the C drive, and we're going to right click and we're going to go to properties, go to tools, optimize, And what we're going to do is just check to make sure that the settings are correct. Change settings. And all we want to make sure is that it's set to run on a schedule. Um, we do recommend at least weekly. Monthly will suffice. Daily may be a bit too much. Uh, so weekly is right where we want to be. Um, if you do want to check the actual fragmentation, you can analyze. It will list it up here. Um, again, if you're win running Windows 8 or Windows 7, this shouldn't be a big issue. Next, we want to check some of the built-in security in Windows. And so we're going to come up here and search again for Control Panel. And we're going to go to System and Security. First thing we want to check is Windows Firewall. Just make sure it's turned on. You'll notice both of these are checked green. If you do need to change the settings over here on the left, we do have an option to change it. Um, Again, we do not recommend turning these off. You do want to make sure that the wire firewall is turned on. If we go back to system and security, go to Windows Update. Windows updates are very, very important for security and maintenance on your computer. Uh, Microsoft does periodically send updates that are necessary to maintain and secure the operating system. Uh, you do want to come over here and just check the settings, make sure that it's set to install updates automatically, which it is, and then we'll go ahead and check to see if there's any updates by clicking check for updates. The last thing is we want to check the antivirus software on the computer. Um, some of you may be using a free one, some of you may be using one that you purchased. Windows 8 does have a built-in antivirus software. Uh, the best way to check which software you're using is down here in the bottom right there should be a little flag you notice that mine has a little X on it so that does mean we need to check it so we're going to go ahead and click on the flag and go to open action center whichever antivirus software you're using should be listed here under security again we have Windows Defender listed here because it is the built-in antivirus software it's currently turned off so I'm going to turn it on All right, and now that I have it on, um, and you're going to want to do this again for 
any antivirus software that you're using, just make sure that it's updating correctly. We can see that it did update today. Uh, again, whichever antivirus software, you're just going to want to double check, make sure that it's updating. You also want to make sure that it's scheduled to scan. Um, we often recommend just running a scan manually, which we can do here by clicking scan now. Uh, again, whichever antivirus software is going to have different a different interface, but it's usually pretty straightforward. You'll just want to look for the scan option to scan the computer. Okay, we're almost finished here. Um, now, if you remember at the beginning, we did start two scans. And so first we're going to check Super Anti-Spyware here. I'm going to hit continue. You can see that it did find some results. Uh, tracking cookies or spyware. Up here it does have some malware listed. Just make sure all of these boxes are checked. And then we'll hit continue. Now, in order for it to complete the removal of any malware found, it does need to reboot. However, because we have a second scan that we need to take care of, we're going to click Reboot Later. And then we'll go ahead and close Super Anti-Spyware. Last scan, I have it up here on the screen, Malware Bytes. You can see that it also found some results. Uh, it will list all of the results here in the middle. Um, we do want to make sure that we have every single box checked. And once we have all of those selected, we can go ahead and click Remove Selected. As soon as it has finished removing all of the threats, this option will pop up. We'll go ahead and click No for the time being as far as restarting. Um, you can see that the number here matches the number found, so all of the results that were found were removed. I'm going to click Finish, and then we'll close uh, Malware Bytes. And now that everything is completed as far as the cleaning work, the last thing to do is we'll go ahead and restart the computer. All right, so now that the computer has res restarted, um, all of the malware and threats and garbage has been removed off the computer. Um, so it should be good to go. If you have any further questions, just put them in the comments below or contact us. We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks.